All right, folks, it's uh, Diamond Coach Curtis, and we're here at the Crater of Diamonds on March 13th. Yesterday, went on a crystal hunt in a private area and had some pretty good luck. But So this is a rainy day. This is kind of for people that want to plan on coming uh, a week, and you're going to have a rainy day. My rule, basically, is I won't take that wagon down. Uh, if I do, it's going to go down, drop it off by the wash station. Make sure you have a cable, secure it. So someone don't steal it, but this is my little tub that I showed earlier, and I'm going to try it. I'm going to use it as a sled. Now, let me explain this. If you think you can go buy one of the sleds, which I did, you cannot haul in the sled those filled buckets, but it's okay to, this is my little tote. It's like a mini sled. Got my screens. I got my backpack here. It's got my Saruka in it. Uh, you can carry a lot of stuff. That came from Walmart. Got my shovel and uh, my mini shovel but i've got my saruk and everything so we're going to drag it in but it's a raining so what i'll do on a day like today basically is we're going to uh we're just basically going to sit there uh close to a wash station either the south station or north but again the rule is if you do take a wagon in you need somebody else to help you these things are just cake up don't go further than the south st uh, north station with the wagon it'll be all you want to do to pull it out so we'll get out here and let's do some video. Okay, folks, it's Diamond Coach Curtis. Uh, we're here. I, I just want to talk about the rental. You can rent equipment here. Uh, I want to say that the, the Lovejoys downtown have a great rental package all around for uh, getting equipment here. You have to pay a deposit, and you have to stand in line, and then you have to go back stand in line to turn in. If you look up Lovejoy, Crater of Diamond State Park, group page on Facebook you join that all I can say is be nice or you will get kicked off there's a lot of helpful information on that on that Facebook group page but you can contact Cindy Lovejoy there um, also Alan Berta Fling they do a class on how to use the screens the basic thing you have to do is learn how to use the screen set and every person can take out a five gallon bucket of wash material and this is what you have to take home if you don't know how to do a flip, you just take home the wash material. But you're allowed to get five gallons of wash material to take home, and you can wet sift. You can uh, you can class, you can go on the pan with that. But we're going to head to the north station here, and we're going to work. But there's a lot of people that have supplies here in, in Murfreesboro. I'm just telling you, the love joy because they have no deposits. You can get a nice wagon instead of the wood wagon back over in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. It's an ice little gorilla car. You can get water hoses if you want to set up a wash station. Anyway, we're going to go in and start digging. Uh, check out Alan Berta Fling, and uh, they'll teach you how to use the, the wet mix. Or Arkansas Diamond Miner has all the basic videos, how to use the screens, how to find gravel, and how to know if you're in good gravel. So anyway, we're going to flip around here. So it's a drizzling rain right now. This is why we don't take carts to the wash station uh, you can get it in there two people but we've got that little drizzle so good luck we'll talk to you later all right i'm not gonna be able to see a lot of what i'm showing but uh, i'm coach curtis it, the rain is kind of let up folks i'm just going to do a quick little video on surface hunting and finding gravel if you come out here you don't want to dig dirt now this top row right here if we don't have concentrated gravel in the rope in the furrow here you can scrape top surface what we're looking at here is more of a lamprite gravel concentrated gravel is better because that's your grab that's your diamond trap but you can scrape top level just don't dig down where you're getting clay if it's clay walk away if it's clay let it lay or just don't don't dig clay but anyway i'm up here by uh at the North Wash Station. Got a few people showing up now that the rain's, but the sun's out, so I'm gonna do a little surface hunt and take a break, and let's see what we find. But we're just gonna walk along, stop and look. All right, it's Diamond Coach Curtis. We're at the Craters 316.22. This is my last day uh, spring break. It's drying out a little bit better. The road's really dry, so you can actually take your wagon in, so it's gonna be nice. Uh, had the rains a couple nights ago. But uh, this is, I'm standing at the north north area and uh, got people out here surface hunting. There's Beatty Hill, North Wash Station. 
this east drain but it's got people out here just having fun knocking around rocks i haven't found anything i'll set up a wash station I'll run a hose out in the middle of the drain there and wash from there nothing on the flip so we're going to do a little surface hunting and we're going to be ready to go but it's a nice day any day at the crater is better any day at work so have fun all right folks I'm surface hunting. I'm in the shadow, but I got something real shiny. It actually looks like two. It could be just mica, but I've got something. I got something right there. And it, I don't know. It could be just a pile of mica, but we're gonna dig it out and see what we got. Go say, people. I dug that out with a little fork. I always use a little tool like this. And it turned out to be some of the biggest mica pieces I've seen. But that was a close call. It looked like a yellow diamond. So, But that's how you'll find it. I mean, it could be just buried in anywhere. And that's all I'm doing. I've, I've got about 45 minutes before the park closes. I got my wagon up close. And then I can get out of here. But I'm just I'm just north of the, almost up to the north of the station there. But I'm on this side of the hump. And uh, we're just looking around. But that was a close call. My heart was beating fast. I really thought I had a yellow diamond there. It was a big piece of mica.